Hello, this is Harlan. This is the most simple, the most powerful message you'll ever receive. Now start with the book of Joel. This is a history book. And in the book of Joel, the Holy Father prophesied through Joel that he would send his spirit. Now do not look for God in a book. You will not find him in a book. From Joel all the way through Revelations, you'll see that God sent the Holy Ghost throughout history. That's what they looked for. And he said he would baptize you in the Holy Ghost. If you look for God in a book, you'll never find him. You'll only find him in the spirit of truth. Jesus always talked about it, that he would send them another comforter that would be with them forever. So notice these, this history and notice that the Holy Ghost is what... See, this is a trick of Satan. Satan is very subtle. And he will trick you and tell you to look for God in the Bible. Well, you'll read the Bible and you'll get a lot of knowledge you'll know about God, but you'll never know him. And this is the way you resist the Holy Ghost. This is the way you quench the Spirit. It's because you look in the letter instead of into the Spirit. Pray to God in the Spirit. And Jesus said it was necessary for him to go away. Because if he didn't go away, the comforter won't come now. You read the Bible and you'll never have no power. You'll know a bunch of scriptures, but you have power when the Holy Ghost comes to you. My life with the Holy Ghost has been very rewarding. I don't know where I'd be without the Holy Ghost. I'd probably be in some Bible-worshiping Pentecostal church probably today if it hadn't been for the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost set me free. And Jesus kept telling me even in the book of Acts or in, in his, when he walked the earth, he said the Holy Ghost will come to you. This is the way they preached the gospel was with the Holy Ghost. See, they didn't get the book. The common man didn't have the book till way after the printing press and so all they had was the Holy Ghost that's why the first church had power to heal and cast out devils and on the day of Pentecost that is the new covenant that's the covenant God makes with us that he will pour out his spirit and lead us by his spirit this is the most important thing you'll ever encounter in your on your whole life seek for God all your life do not quench the spirit do not uh, resist the Holy Ghost when you open a Bible you resist the Holy Ghost because you're looking to know about God see people you don't have a Holy Ghost church today because they the Bible's taken it away see this is the only Holy Ghost voice you hear out there today just a few of us and so pay attention and let the Holy Ghost speak to you this is the only way home you can't be a Christian if you stand before Jesus and you don't have his seed in you See, he was born of a Holy Ghost seed, and his seed has to go down in us, and that makes us part of him. And they'd say, have you received the Holy Ghost? See, they didn't have, Bibles didn't even have Bibles in them days. They had scrolls. You couldn't carry a, a, the New Testament in scrolls in a truck. It'd be so big. They'd write on, they'd write on animal skins. And even in the last uh, book of the scriptures, he said, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. See? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the voice of Jesus. So they tell you it comes by reading the Bible. That's a lie. You don't get no faith by reading the Bible. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the voice of Jesus Christ. His sheep knows his voice. So pay attention. It directs your mind into the Spirit, not into a book. They have big Bible colleges, and them people don't have enough power to quit smoking cigarettes. So... Have faith in God through the Holy Ghost. This is the only way. I'm telling you the plain and simple truth. It's by the Spirit of the living God that you become a son of God. I'm a son of God. He told me, you're my son. I'm his son because I'm in the Holy Ghost. A Bible worshiper can't claim that because they have read the Bible and they think they know Jesus because they know about him. You can only know him by the Spirit. I know him. I'm one of the few people you'll ever hear say, I know Jesus. I've met him. Because I live in the Spirit. The Bible is the mark of the beast.